Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Pretty calm conditions out there today. A lot of sunshine, a few clouds popping up this afternoon, but uh, still a little on the breezy side. Those winds will start to go down later on tonight, but just a few cumulus clouds passing through. And again, these are harmless, so don't you worry about that. This is in Temple, our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker right now. It's on the Kyle Building in downtown Temple. Just some clouds here and there. They will start to thin out here uh, as we go toward the next several hours. Again, temperatures today running a little bit below average. We should be in the lower. 70s. Well, we made it into the upper 60s, so getting a little bit better than yesterday. We've got 68 degrees right now in Waco, 67 Temple, 66 in Colleen. Temperatures about the same as you work your way out to the west, 65 right now in the Brownwood area. And as we check out the Brazos Valley, temperatures are holding steady in the upper 60s in most areas under partly cloudy skies. Now, our winds, yeah, they've been out of the north and northwest, roughly about 20 to maybe about 30 miles per hour at times. Again, this is the three hour average, and we've been averaging in the upper 20s here in the Waco area, but a little bit lighter down toward the Colleen, uh, the Colleen and Temple area and down toward the Brazos Valley. Eventually, as this high pressure out west gets a little bit closer to us, we'll start to see some lighter winds, which will allow those temperatures to cool off down into the 30s by tomorrow morning. Now, our satellite loop, pretty quiet weather. Again, just a few clouds here and there, and that's what we're seeing out there right now. Or once the sun goes down, I expect a lot of these clouds will disappear. We're looking at, again, uh, mainly dry conditions here across the board. Now, as we check out our upper level winds, let's go up to about 18,000 feet. A big trough. A low pressure. Can you kind of see it just carved off like a big U right there? Out ahead of it there, uh, riding the basically the front edge of that trough is where all the energy and lift is, and that's where they've been seeing the showers and storms from Pennsylvania right on down through Tennessee and again down toward uh, uh, parts of the deep south. We are going to start to see this ridge, on the other hand, start to build into our area. You can kind of see it goes up and over toward the Pacific Northwest. That whole thing's going to start sliding in our direction, and that will allow those temperatures to climb into the 80s under dry conditions. Tonight, though, we're going to see those skies clear out, and as we go toward the evening hours, and we're talking temperatures back down into the upper 40s and lower 50s at midnight, and I think by tomorrow morning, we're going to see some 30s around. We'll say upper 30s to lower 40s to start the day, but as we go throughout the day tomorrow, a lot of sunshine, temperatures climbing into the low 60s by noon, and then by the afternoon, we're going to make it into the low 70s for highs for a little bit, back down into the upper 60s by 5 o'clock, and even by late Thursday into Friday, we're going to keep it high and dry right now across the region. Your Friday morning calls for temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s. With that dry air and that southerly wind kicking in, though, we're going to make a run at the upper 70s across the area. There may be a few 80s, especially just off to west by the afternoon. So here's the forecast tonight. A few clouds out there right now, but mostly clear skies developing. 35 degrees will be the low temperature. And then mostly sunny tomorrow, not as breezy, about 72 degrees, the high temperature. Here's the long range 10 day forecast 82 on Friday. Right now I'm going 85 on Saturday, 87 on Sunday. Definitely shorts weather over the weekend. We're looking at uh, dry conditions and above normal temperature and uh, above normal temperatures. I was getting ahead of myself because I saw the 88s here. I wanted to show you. We're going to get awfully close to 90, I think, on Monday and Tuesday. There's the front that moves through. And, of course, we'll always watch for showers and storms as that moves through. And then back down into the 70s by the end of next week. And then Bryan and College Station starting to warm up. Should be in the 80s over the weekend and mid-80s next week. Slight chances of rain Tuesday and Wednesday. Nighttime lows in the 40s, 50s. And we will start to see some 60s. But this weekend... MG and Adam, we are talking temperatures in the 80s. And like I said, I was kind of getting wow. excited because we're going to be almost close to 90 degrees next oh my week. Gosh. Oh, you know How what? far is Litterbon? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I think we got to have a water day. Uh, I know. It, it turns spring and we enjoy it for what? One day, two days, and it goes right into summer. Yeah. Oh it always gosh. happens. So, boy, oh boy. We got